they will grow into eternal life. During these days, we have to be like Martha, who drew comfort from Jesus, and because of the faith she had, she knew that this would not be the end for her brother. The faith that Martha had was a very deep faith, and she makes a very profound profession of faith when she tells Jesus, Yes, Lord, I know I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Almighty Father, raise Christ his Son from the dead. With confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. For Wayne, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our brother, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the family and friends of our brother Wayne, that they may be consoled in the grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us assemble here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Prayer. God, our, our, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them from their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand. <laughs> With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayers to the Father. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. At this point, we would ask if a family or relative of a family or friend would uh, want to say anything that they would be able to come up at this time. And then after the eulogy. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Wayne, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we will see Wayne again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ.
receive his soul and present him to God most high. Receive his soul and present to God most high. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May the angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let the light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Wayne, your servant. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. But in your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. At this point, we would walk out. Uh, at that particular time, the uh, burial site was within walking distance of the funeral home, so we'll pretend we're there. Our brother Wayne has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together we may greet Jesus, Christ Jesus, who went when he when he is who our life appears in glory. This is the will of the one who sent me, says the Lord, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I shall raise it on the last day. And the sin make blessing the ground that uh, we're going to enter the earth, put the urn in. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light and know the splendor of God for you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My friends, as we prepare to bury the ashes of our brother, we recall that our bodies bear the imprint of the first creation when we were fashioned from dust. But in faith we remember too that by the new creation we also bear the image of Jesus who was raised in glory. In confident hope that one day God will raise us and transform our mortal bodies, let us pray. Faithful God, Lord of all creation, you desire that nothing redeemed by your Son will ever be lost, and that, he, and that the just will be raised up on the last day. Comfort us today with the word of your promise as we return the ashes of our brother to the earth. Grant Wayne a place of rest and peace where the world of dust and ashes has no dominion. Confirm us in our hope that he will be created anew on the day when you will raise him up in glory to live with you and all the saints forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, in reverence, let us pray to God, the source of all mercy. Please respond. Hear our prayer. <clears throat> Gracious Lord, forgive the sins of those who have died in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our no prayers. Prayer. Remember all the good they have done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Welcome them into eternal life. 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who mourn. Comfort them in their grief. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lighten their sense of loss at your presence. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Increase their faith and strengthen their hope. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Let us pray also for ourselves on our pilgrimage through life. Keep us faithful in your service. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Kindle in our hearts a longing for heaven. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. With longing for the kingdom of God's kingdom, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on the behalf of your servant Wayne. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he desired to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in need and strengthen their hope in your everlasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let the light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of, of love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.